What a difference a day. My name is Jessica Ortega. I am a teacher and I paint. I would say my inspirations are from my childhood, how I grew up, places I visited, my, my own journey with motherhood, and my own relationship with her. I first started painting, I was 23, and my paintings were always like Dia de los Muertos and cultural paintings of things that I liked that made me feel really like proud of being Mexican. But then um, also when I was 23, I moved to Colombia and eventually also moved to Ecuador. It was during this time of transition that my art like really changed. I was really introduced to forming these communities where they were teaching their own kids like love and respect for the earth part of their schooling is to let like, go to the huerta and work. So then like I started connecting myself and I was really introduced to living in nature. Like I had never ever seen people like living like that. And that's also where I learned about like natural childbirth. When I was living with the Quichua community, there was a lot of pregnant women everywhere. And then one time I was like, wait, so like, are we allowed to go and like, watch a birth? Yeah, and they were very like, yeah, if you want. And I was like, I would love to watch a birth. And I did, and I was so amazed by it. Then my art was a lot about that experience, the way that I saw people living, the way that I lived, the way that I birthed, which was a home birth as well. Then my art was for a long time about motherhood about like yeah, the pregnant exactly. woman and like being at one with the earth and like praying and holding your baby or like a woman breastfeeding and like because that was really who I was at the time. Well my garden also started from going through like a tough time emotionally within myself. And then this garden was a connection to the earth again because every time that I was feeling some sort of way, like usually stressed out, sad, or mad, it would always be like I would need something natural around me to calm me down. And then when I was in my garden, I started thinking about my trip to Mexico. One of my favorite places in Mexico is in Mexico City at Xochimilco. And I just was always like, oh, I like love this place so much. One, the history, but the water, the flowers, everything was always growing. So then I was here on my garden in this place where I want growth to happen. Then I got inspired to paint a mural over there about Xochimilco. I named that piece Mujer Xochimilco and Xochimilco means the place of flowers. So then um, I was like, oh, this is perfect for my garden. And my garden is Jardín de la Esperanza, which means the garden of hope. So I was like, oh, here we are like planting seeds, but it was more than just like the, the actual vegetable. It was more also about like this process within myself. So I would always come back to those feelings and it was always like something strong, like the trees or like um, the water, how it can be like destructive, but it can be calming. So I would refer, refer back to the earth for calmness and for grounding and it would get me through it. And then I started painting like women like praying to the moon or women like by a river or women like with flowers around them. Thank you for liking my art. It makes, it makes me feel really good and surprised sometimes that people like my art. <laughs> so thank you.